What's up? I'm Hutch, and you need to understand the bandages used to dress wounds so that you can properly treat your patients and also pass the NPTE. This was one of the biggest surprises on the NPTE for me, so pay attention. When trying to decide how to dress a wound, there are a few things you want to pay attention to, namely depth, amount of exudate, and the risk the wound has for an infection. Hydrogels are for dry, shallow wounds. They're made of a gel-forming polymer and water and can look like a gelatin or a jelly sheet themselves and can often decrease pain and pressure on the wound. They're also pretty occlusive and so they retain moisture very well. Films are for wounds that are slightly less shallow with a little bit of exudate. They're impermeable to bacteria and water but allow air to get in. These dressings can be really handy because they're resistant to shear forces and when transparent can allow visualization of wound healing without removing the dressing. Foams are for wounds of moderate depth and exudate. They have a hydrophilic inner layer that absorbs moisture very well from the wound, but a hydrophobic outer layer that keeps that moisture trapped inside the dressing so it's easy to remove. Hydrocolloids are for deeper wounds with more exudate. They're also made of a gel forming polymer with a transparent film backing that attaches to the surrounding skin. The transparent film allows these dressings to be waterproof, while the gel forming polymer combines with the moisture in the wound to form a lump of gel that's easily removed from the wound. These kinds of dressings are pretty good at preventing infection. Alginates are made of a seaweed derivative and are good for really deep and really exudative wounds. The calcium in the dressing combines with the salt in the exudate to form a gel similar to that of hydrocolloids. Alginates are also really good for infected wounds as most infections are highly exudative and the non-occlusive nature of the dressing doesn't trap the bacteria in the wound. Alginates can also be impregnated with antimicrobials like silver or iodine. Gauze is the most versatile dressing and the only one on this list that doesn't really allow autolytic debridement. However, it can allow wet to dry debridement and they come in many shapes, sizes, and absorbencies. Now it's time for NPTE Jeopardy. Pause the video now if you want time to read and think about the question. Otherwise, you've got five, four, three, two, one. For infected wounds, you want the least occlusive dressing possible, which is gauze. Gauze can be impregnated with antimicrobials like alginates can. Hemostasis means that there isn't a whole lot of exudate, so an alginate wouldn't be necessary. Hopefully that covers all of our bases. If not, you can always check out the description box below for a link to my notes on Etsy, or you can comment a question or suggestion for videos I should do in the future. Otherwise, good luck studying. Go change the world.